Hi everyone, my name is J.D. Hoovener and I'm your host of the Bold Today Show, where you, the inventor, entrepreneur, or business owner, get your daily inspiration to make the world a better place. We're in our aerospace five-part series, and it's going to be a discussion about airplanes. Your challenge today is to think back to the most recent time you've been in an airplane. And I bet most of you have been pretty recently. Think about when you sat down, right? Look to your right, look to your left. Look at the seat you're sitting in. Think about it. So the next time you're on an airplane, this is your challenge, is to look and consider all the aspects of that seat that make it perfect to fit that many people in such a tight space. Think about how thin that chair is. Think about how that structure and how it attaches to the ground of the, of the, the main floor of the airplane hooks up to a seat track and is perfectly positioned so you have just enough room for your feet. Think about how the electronics, right, that display or the charging, all the different aspects that go into that chair and, and marvel at the fact that there's likely hundreds of patents that have come up over the years to help design a seat that's ergonomic and fits that many people in that kind of a space. So what I want you to do is take a look at this patent. This was put out by um, the country of Korea and it was filed under an international application. It just got patented here in the US and got rights in the US and, and the um, internationally as well. But the overall rights that it gives uh, covers not just the US but other countries. That's what the PCT, the Patent Cooperation Treaty can do. Today's topic is about this, the background section. We, hit, we talked about it yesterday and, and we gave an example of that really simple three paragraph format. Well here, as you can see highlighted, there's over, over seven different paragraphs. This application and patent talks too much in the background. And what it, what it does is it puts it up as a, as a big liability if this were ever litigated. What, when the problems of the background section can come up is oftentimes when products are described, they talk about the prior art. And oftentimes inventors uh, have invention after invention that sort of build on each other. And if you're talking about how a product that's in the market now, maybe your company produces and you're saying, well, this isn't as safe as this new invention or if it's not as cool and doesn't have the right um, aspects or you know, functionality, by disparaging the prior art, you're actually opening up your company to a product liability issue, right? You're saying something's not as safe as it could be. Uh-oh, now your product that's on the market is now rife for a product liability uh, lawsuit. So it's just one of the areas and one of the main reasons why a background section should be reduced to a minimum and discuss exactly the minimum amount of prior art discussion with a basic explanation of how your invention uh, goes above and beyond and solves it without disparaging the prior art. So with this latest challenge, I want you to think about the next time you fly, go with someone that goes with you and I want you to think about their perceptive, uh, perspective. Because uh, the next Bold Today show, uh, I want to talk about more aviation topics and start looking around. Get familiar with the airplane and think about what those, what those knobs do and how they positioned it, you know, the stow bins, how they opened it up and how it works and think about what might have to go into that design for it to be as effective as it is. Well, thank you for tuning in to this version of the Bold Today Show. I'm your host, J.D. Hoovener. Go big, go bold. Go big, go bold at boldip.com.